What are we drawing today, dude? A trophy. Yeah, we're drawing a trophy because Father's Day is coming up. We thought it would be a lot of fun to learn how to draw a trophy so that we could give it to our number one dads. Yep. Who's your number one dad? You. <laughs> now we're using a marker, but you guys don't have to. You can use whatever you feel comfortable drawing with. If you are using a marker or a permanent marker, you want to make sure you have at least two sheets of paper so that your drawing doesn't end up soaking through and getting onto the table. Yeah. Now we're going to start by drawing a rectangle, a long rectangle at the top of our paper. So we're going to draw a, a short line down and then a long line across. So we're drawing an L shape. And this line is in the middle of our paper. See how we got equal space on each side. Now let's draw the top of our rectangle. We're going to draw another line that matches the bottom one. And then we'll connect it over here on the right. Good, now we're gonna draw the letter U. We're gonna start inside of the rectangle and we're also gonna end on the same place on the right side. So we're gonna start here, we're gonna draw a big U that comes down and then come back up. So we have a little space on each side. Good, and then back up, you did it. Okay, now we're gonna draw another rectangle. So we'll draw two lines down here. Well, it's kind of a rectangle. Yeah. We're drawing the base of our trophy. Now we're going to draw the rest of the base. So we're going to draw a line that comes down like this and then curves out at the bottom. Is that cool? Yeah. And then we'll draw that same line over here. Kind of straight line down and then curve out at the bottom. Now let's draw another rectangle to connect. So we'll connect at the bottom and then let's draw two lines down. Two short lines. And then we'll connect it. So there's another rectangle. Now let's draw a skinnier rectangle. We're gonna draw another one right here. So we'll draw two little lines that come out further. And then we'll draw two little lines coming down. And then we'll connect those from the left side over to the right. Okay, now we can draw the base of our trophy. So let's draw it a little bit bigger. So we're gonna draw two more lines that come out. And this base is gonna be bigger. So then we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw two bigger lines that come down. Yeah, and then we'll connect those. Oh, we did it. There's the base of our trophy. Okay, we're missing the big handles that yeah. look really cool that you can hold your awesome trophy by. So we're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw a big C shape that comes out and back in. Kind of a weird C shape. It's like an ear. Yeah, it looks like an ear. <laughs> yeah, we have ears. Yep. Good. Okay, now let's draw the outside of our trophy handle. So we're going to draw a little curve right here. And then let's draw another curve right here, down here at the bottom. Those are kind of weird curves, but now we're going to connect those two curves. So we're going to draw another line that comes out and around to connect those two weird shapes. <laughs> Now let's repeat those same steps over here on the right side. So we want to start in the same spot over here and we want to end in the same spot too. So we can put little dots to help us and we're going to draw that big funny C shape or whoop, mine's ear a little shape. weird. Yeah, ear shape. And then we're going to draw that little curve up here. First one up at the top and then we'll draw that big one down here. These even look like earlobes down here. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> that's okay. And then we're gonna draw the outside of the handle, comes around and connects down here. <laughs> Ears on your trophy. I guess we could draw a really funny face right there on the yeah. center, and then these could actually look like ears. And we could write number one dad down here. But I think we should write number one dad up here when we're coloring it. Yeah. Okay, now it's gonna look a lot better once we color it, but we're gonna fast forward this part, and at the end, you guys can pause it to match the same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right now. Good job, dude. You did awesome on coloring your trophy. It turned out amazing. Did you have fun? Yeah. I really like how you changed it. You made it red and brown down here on the base. And you guys at home can do the same thing. You can pause it 
and change it. You can color it like how we did, or you can change it and make it your own. Yes. Now the other thing we did was we used our Sharpie to thicken up the outside line of our drawing. It makes it look like it's gonna pop right off the page. Yeah. The last few times we've done our drawings, we've actually colored our drawings on the computer, and that's a lot of fun, and we're gonna still do that, but every once in a while we'll still color with our oil pastels and also our colored pencils. Yes. Now you guys at home, I want you to remember you don't have to use oil pastels. That's just what we used. You could use whatever you want. You could use paint, crayons, or even markers. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your trophies with yes, us. Yes, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we hope you have a lot of fun giving it to your dad on Father's Day, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Guess what I got for you? What? A trophy. <laughs> You've been hanging on to that the whole time? Yep. <laughs> Can I have it? Yep, it's mine. <laughs>